दिस इज टाइम टू एनालाइज द सर्किट एंड फाइंड द पैटर्न विच वी शुड सी इन द ऑब्जर्वेशन बिकॉज दैट पैटर्न कैरीज वन मार्क्स सो जस्ट लुक एट द करेंट इन द सर्किट द करेंट फ्लोज थ्रू दिस लूप नो करेंट इज शोन इन वोल्ट मीटर बिकॉज द वोल्ट मीटर रेजिस्टेंस इज आइडर वेरी हाई और आइडियली एक्चुअली इट इज इन फाइनाइट सो नेवर वी शो द करेंट थ्रू द वोल्ट मीटर नाउ इन दिस वायर इन दिस लूप द रेजिस्टेंस ऑफ ए बी वायर बिकॉज ए बी वायर इज कॉन्स्टेंट और मैगनन रेजिस्टेंस वायर लेट दिस रेजिस्टेंस इज सिम्बलाइज एज स्मॉल आर एंड रेजिस्टेंस ऑफ रेजिस्टेंस बॉक्स इज रिप्रेजेंटेड विद कैपिटल आर देन If V not is the bat voltage we applied with help of the battery, then current through this loop will be volt me uh, potential difference uh, of the terminal of the battery divided by the total resistance of the circuit. V not upon resistance box resistance plus resistance of A B wire. We take the resistance of contact wire to be negligible in comparison to these two resistances. so if i current is flowing through this ab wire then potential difference developed across ac will be i into resistance of this wire ac so i into resistance of this wire ac will be actually the voltmeter reading and that is here written that voltmeter reading is current into resistance of 75 cm part of that is the Uh, resistance of 75 cm part that is ac so v upon i voltmeter reading that is potential difference across ac divided by current through ac will give you the resistance of ac wire getting the point now if you divide resistance of the ac wire by length of the ac wire then actually you are calculating resistance of this wire per unit length and that is what is finally asked you to calculate so just look at the pattern which we should see in voltmeter ammeter and resistance of uh, in the observation table <coughs> if resistance of resistance box is increased then you can see that current decreases resistance of the resistance box increases then current decreases and if current decreases as resistance of ac wire is constant so voltmeter reading will also decrease so what should be the pattern of the observation that as we will increase the resistance in the resistance box the ammeter reading and voltmeter reading both should decrease so now look at the observation we are getting as the resistance of the resistance box is increased can you observe that voltmeter reading is decreasing and ammeter reading is decreasing and that is what we should get with help of the analysis of the circuit now finally just think of it resistance of ab wire it is in the lab 4 ohm approximately so 4 ohm is resistance of 1 meter wire right so 4 ohm per meter is the resistance per unit length of ab wire and if calculation is done here i have calculated ammeter readings voltmeter readings then resistance of ac part of the ab wire R1, R2, R3, R4, R5 for the five readings, and you can see the values are within the limit of error, almost equal. Not equal, but they are close to each other. And then uh, average of these values is finally 3.47. This is resistance of 75 centimeter length of the wire AB, and finally the question is asking you the quantity k that is the resistance of 75 cm length and the length of the ac part and that we can see 
and this k comes out to be 0 0.04 ohm upon 75 centimeter so ohm per centimeter that means the ab wire has 0 0.04 ohm resistance of 1 centimeter length in the question they are asking you resistance per unit length up to one decimal place but here we are having the value resistance per unit length up to two decimal place when we are using ohm per centimeter as the unit system so convert this unit system in a ohm per meter and for that you have to multiply this value with the hundred you have to change the centimeter in the denominator into meter so for that reason you have to divide centimeter by 100 that 100 will come to the numerator and the value will be 4.0 ohm per meter and this is what they are asking as the result so first you look at the way you are supposed to write the experiment in your experiment copy in practical copy of your college also and in your exam copy also now one very important thing I want to discuss with you and I have mentioned it in every experiment. Least count of emitter is 0 0.025 that is up to 3 decimal places. So you have to write all the readings you are calculating from the emitter up to 3 decimal places. If by chance like here it is 0.25 then add a 0 here but the reading should sync with the least count of the apparatus from which it is taken similarly the least count of voltmeter is 0 0.05 volts that is up to two decimal places so like here i am getting the result 1.4 but i have to write 1.40 up to two decimal places the reading should sync with the least count this is very important uh, right out there you will get your marks l l your marks will be deducted if you are not uh, getting this uh, concept that your reading should sync with the least count of the apparatus used and then they are saying that resistance per unit length and the resistance this resistance should be up to uh, this resistance should have three significant figures there are plenty of rules to find significant figures but for a practical use i have a trick that call the number read the number and if you read the number you will have 329 so all the number which you can read in a given number are significant if a zero is added before this you cannot read that zero so that zero is not significant although it is in the number mentioned in the number but if you add a zero at this place then if i ask you read the number then you will read 3290 so the significant figures will become four so this is a very good trick to find the significant number so you can see that in all the readings i am having three significant figures which is asked in the question paper and then after getting R0 they said that find the resistance per unit length up to one decimal place and you can see that here it is up to one decimal place so all the things are discussed now both the sections children note down these readings in your practical copy and as I said that experiment one is uh, when I explained you the removal of parallax then in that experiment I calculated focal length of given convex lens using uh, two pins so you have to go through that class and you have to find the readings I discussed and you have to complete that experiment as I mentioned clearly that this is what you are supposed to write in your practical copy then in second practical i explained all the components of the circuit and then i uh, performed an experiment in which i verified the ohm's law so go through that class and experiment two will be verification of ohm's law the circuit diagram the observation table the readings which everything i discussed and i performed with you in that class 
then experiment number 3 will be the experiment of question number 1 of 2019 ISC practical and everything is discussed in that class so complete your practical copy and this is your experiment number 4 so I am giving you once again the readings complete your practical copy And on the left hand side of your practical copy that is on the plain paper you will write this analysis of circuit because this will help you in the theory as well in current electricity. So analysis of circuit and what patterns should be observed in the observation that we can easily understand through this discussion so on the left page of your copy in your practical copy you have to write this